Just weeks ago, Commissioner Ron Hedrick got word that Anglo Incorporated was considering Raleigh County as a location for a new factory. The project is headed by local business owner Tim Warden and a group of scientists working to use coal in a new way. And they d developed a, a process to take coal and turn it into a fertilizer. They love the fact that it's coming to West Virginia, but it brings a value-added product, you know, not just buying the coal and shipping it away, but we're mining the coal and we're turning it into a high-value product. The company would manufacture the patented products at a facility and then ship them wherever needed. At a briefing last month, those working on the project answered questions about various concerns, including the environmental and economic impacts. We're going to build a big factory that will employ several hundred people. And when you have uh, several hundred people working in a factory, it trickles down that you're going to need more people in the restaurants and the retail. So, you know, every one job you create, it creates three jobs in the economy. And with WVU Tech nearby, those working with the company are eager to get students involved as well. You know, there's going to be some testing involved. There's going to be some analysis involved, some uh, looking at efficiencies for the plant and that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a good, uh, to me, it's a good learning experience for these, for these students. And they can put their engineering skills to work uh, in a process like this. Next week, Hedrick shows a variety of possible locations to the company. If all goes well, they'll start writing for grants, and Raleigh County could have that new factory in just six months. Reporting for you, I'm Cassie Simmons, Newswatch.